For SAP Build Process Automation, there is no booster in trial, but it's pretty simple to install everything. Go to your sub-account, and in Service Marketplace, click Create. Search for the Process Automation service, select the free subscription plan, and click Create. While that's running, we can run it again to create a service instance. Click Create, again search for Process Automation, this time select the standard instance plan, and click Create. It might take 10 minutes for the subscription and service to be created. When they're installed, go to your custom IDP user and add the roles for process automation. A participant is an approver or otherwise participates when a process is triggered. A developer is a builder of processes, and an admin monitors processes, configures environments, and performs other admin tasks. Once we have the role, we can click on the icon next to Process Automation and open the SAP Build Lobby. And now we can create a new process. We likely will want to also create desktop automation bots that run on our machine. So we need to install an agent that can run programs and control our browser. Download the agent installer and run it. It may take 10 minutes to complete and there may not be a success dialogue at the end. When it's finished, open your Chrome browser, go to the extensions area, and turn on the SAP Build Process Automation extension. The last thing is to register your sub-account with the agent. So in SAP Build, go to the control tower, and on the agents page, get the address of your sub-account. Then open the agent, go to the Manage Tenants area, Add a tenant with a display name and the URL you just copied, and now the agent can be used to run automations you design in your tenant.